While a lot of attention may be on the best deals this holiday season, a group of people in the community need more than a deal to give their children a normal Christmas. Different organizations are getting ready to collect holiday gift donations for families in need in our community. News 18's Kelly Roberts brings us details on how you can help donate. The Salvation Army is trying to serve up to 500 families this holiday season. Major Jim Irvin says they are families who are trying to make ends meet and at the same time trying to keep food on the table and their homes warm. Irvin says it leaves little to no money for holiday shopping. The people that we're helping are um, people that are underemployed. Uh, they're not unemployed. These are people that desperately want to work. These are people that desperately want to provide for their families. And so this is a great way to help families uh, come together, be able to celebrate the Christmas season. The Salvation Army is accepting gift donations for those families. Irvin says you can grab a paper angel at the Salvation Army or at the Tippecanoe Mall with the age of a child and the gift they're hoping to receive. But you do not need an angel to help. They can simply go to a store and, and buy a gift. Oftentimes I'm asked, well, what kind of a gift should I get if it's not listed on the angel? And uh, the easiest thing to do is think of your son, your daughter, your nephew, your niece, somebody that you'd like to buy a gift for. The Salvation Army Gift Drive is one of several donation programs in Greater Lafayette. Lafayette Urban Ministry is also ready to collect gift donations for its annual Jubilee Christmas. Both the Salvation Army and LUM would like all donations by December 11th. None of these gifts are necessities in and of themselves. What they are is uh, an opportunities for families to be able to have a sense of normalcy. Irvin says he is done accepting applications for families hoping to receive the gifts this year. For a list of dates and gift ideas from the Salvation Army and LUM, visit WLFI.com. Reporting in Lafayette, Kelly Roberts, News 18.